Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Sarah and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we're taking a look at Tainted Grail which is a big sprawling narrative campaign game which was a huge hit on Kickstarter last year and now we're gonna review it Yes, let's go. It's gonna be the first review we do in two months. Yeah, it's been a long time since last time. It has because of all these world things happening. It's been kind of different on the channel. We hope you haven't joined that. And now we are gonna be doing more reviews, hopefully yeah. going forward. We have quite a few new games to review and this is the first. And this was uh, chosen by our patrons to review. So thank you for, for supporting us on Patreon. That, uh, that really means a lot. And yes. sorry that this was supposed to be in April and now it's May. That means you will get two reviews in May, but none in April, so it's not really a positive thing. Yeah. But uh, basically, we needed time to play the game enough to be able to to do this review. Yeah. Because it wouldn't feel right to to because it's a, like we haven't played through the campaign, but we have played quite a while, and it makes more sense to review it after playing it more than we yeah. had in yes, April. Yes, I agree. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Let's talk a bit about the game. So basically, an hour overview. This game is set in the fictitious world of Avalon. And probably if you saw this, you wouldn't think, is this real life? But this is a really cool theme. It's kind of a mix between the Arthurian legend of uh, Arthur, King Arthur and uh, the Knights of the Round Table and a fantasy world in a land called Avalon. And basically the humans found a way into this realm and they fought off the monsters and they made them into, made this place into a place where the humans could live. And now uh, the, everything is fading. The lights of the men here are fading. It's basically what makes this land safe from the weirdness, which is this horrible kind of. I, I feel like it's like this plant, living plant that's trying yeah. to take over everything and consume everything. It's just like darkness. Yeah, it's, it, it feels like it's like pitch black darkness. Um, and you are trying to save this world somehow. We don't really know what we are supposed to do in the end. Like the story is evolving over time. We're not going to do any spoilers like that we can. Uh, like this isn't spoilers. This is this basic setup of the game. If you see the cards, we're going to show you some cards later. So if you don't want to know anything before you read the rules, then of course you, you, you cannot see this, but it's not going to be any spoilers for the game. So basically you are these low life, um, kind of um, horrible people yeah which, we're not the heroes here we're not the heroes no i love that this game is like uh, it's saying like these heroes da, 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 you are not these heroes yeah. <laughs> because, we are we are the backup plan yes to the backup plan on, yes. and the backup plan yeah backup to the backup to the backup yes. basically is what we are and we are like the last resort sending out yeah. in the world like we are crazy people we are horrible people who cannot really do anything and we're trying to survive in this horrible, horrible island. Mm. It is horrible, we're gonna talk more about that later. Uh, so yeah, that's like a short overview of the game. So let's, as always, this is a review time, it's been so long, it's strange, let's talk about the rule book. Yes. You have the rule book. I have it. Dun, dun, dun. It's here. Yes, yeah, so this game basically has kind of two rule books. Uh, this is basically a quick start guide. I really like this. If you're supposed to play, if you're playing the game solo, we are we did play co-op, so I didn't I didn't read through it. But it's really great because this basically is an open and play guide. So <laughs> if you're playing it solo, you just start from the beginning of this, and you will starting playing in minutes. That's so cool. this is really good. The rule book is also pretty good. It's a long rule book. Like there is a lot of thing. Like the rule summary on the back here is just like crazy a lot of stuff. Because there is a lot of different systems here, both the exploration and all of that normal stuff you do in a day. That is pretty straightforward, really. Like the rules are pretty straightforward and good explained. And the other than that, it's like the combat and diplomacy rules, which are the two kind of uh, mini games. So we're gonna talk about those later. And they will basically they have their own sections, but it's good laid out. I enjoy the rule book. I think it's pretty easy to. Um, to, to, to shuffle through and to find what you're looking for when you are uh, missing a rule and like how oh, did that work again I feel like it's pretty well laid out sometimes it's hard to find something but I will say it's all in all a pretty good rule book so that's rule books out of the way let's talk about the artwork and components for this game so what do you think about that they're just beautiful mm -hmm. and the components you can see here the miniatures they look really awesome. I wish I could paint miniatures when yes. I look at these. They would look like super awesome painted, but yeah. also the artwork and on the cards mm. really, it's a gloomy theme here. Mm. It's just a little, 
it's not a fairy tale uh, island. I feel no. like so. I think that the artwork really suits like the the, the gloomy theme there is to the game. It yeah. just looks beautiful. And also, I feel like the the map is very well laid out. It's like it's obvious that they made the map and then divided it into cards. Yeah. And um, couple like uh, so most of all, I, I love this. Like if you we have the the Kickstarter add-on which have all of the miniatures for the guardians which are the monsters you will meet which are persistent monsters so um those actually add a bit i do have a couple of things i don't like but let's talk about the things i like first yeah um, so basically all you said the miniatures mm -hmm. looks great and the cards are good have a lot of details and a great great artwork mm. so is there anything you don't like before i take what i don't like with the artwork yeah the like the artwork and the components and all that no i actually affects. don't remember anything that i don't like mm -hmm. but maybe you could enlighten me on that yeah and you might think like it's gameplay but it's it's because of the the, the components and gameplay okay. so, the components and artwork. so first of all when you don't have the guardians expansion you are supposed to when you find a guardian you have the guardian card that's supposed to be on the on the other card and move it around. That's kind oh, of a hassle. Okay, yeah. Also, and, and that's kind of like the biggest thing I have, which is a negative here, is that there's a lot of information on these cards and you are sometimes supposed to turn them out over. You don't have to do that and you probably never will because everything is in this exploration journal over here. So the turning over the cards is kind of always a hassle. So I don't really know why they did that because you always have stuff on the card when you want to turn it over. Yeah, we so don't turn over cards. So why would you want to turn the card over? Because it's going to be moving stuff over, then moving and reading it, and then always it will say, now read in the book. So why not just read in the book yes. from the first time around? Another thing that is the problem is that the cards are big, but these are also very big. So if you place this on here, you are basically, it's going to be hard seeing everything on the card. And if you have miniatures on there, maybe you have a guardian, maybe you have like a quest dial on there, you're not gonna see what's on the card. Mm. And of course, to make that, you either have to make the cards extremely big, and these are big tarot sized cards from, from, from before, it would be impossible to make it in a better way. I don't really have a, a solution to that, but it's a thing that kind of bothers me like if you have this card here now and you you can't see the name you can't see the action you just you need to move stuff out of there to be able to see what's on there and that kind of bothers me yeah i see see what you mean and mm -hmm. we've had that little annoyment with it uh, especially in the beginning yeah. but i've learned to live with it and i think like if the solution was to make this smaller i don't like that either so no. i i want it to be like that but i'm yeah, I can't see a solution to it, um, like right off the bat. So no. yeah, yeah, I don't think it bothers me that much. No, I, I agree. Like it's a problem, but I don't have a solution. Yes. Like yeah. I, 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 I probably think that they, 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 they thought of it. Mm. Like this might be a problem, but then again, it's not really anything that can be done with. But if it bothers you, you know it's here. Yes. So these should be big. Like these are menacing statues, basically that you you are. They are awesome. They are. So there isn't really a lot to say about like the playtime here because this is an ongoing game. This is like the campaign is just like never ending. Yeah. So you 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 playing chapters, but it's not like most games where you play one chapter and then the chapter is done and you reset and you play another chapter. Yeah. Which we found out the hard way. That was a surprise to us. We, <laughs> when we were like uh, trying to finish the first chapter, we yes. were like out of food, out of health. We were really low on resources mm -hmm. and was just like, oh yeah, we made the chapter so good. Now we can rest? No, wait, we're starting off where we were. We yes. are almost dead. Yes. This is a problem. Yeah, so it's like that. You have the opportunity to dogs. to save your game, uh -huh. um, but you can do that in the middle of a chapter as yes. well. Yeah, so, yeah. so I like the saving mechanism, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it, it, it's impossible to do like the time playtime here because it's up to you. Yeah, basically. it's kind of like it's kind of like a game that obviously going to be compared to like Seven Continent, where it's like it's a long game. Yeah, like it it's is. a very, very long game, but here it is. This feels really like a video game as well, like because mm. you you do like a chapter, it's kind of like a main quest, and then you just you don't stop in the video game and you start over a new place. No, you just continue, and it's like that here. You just go on and go on and go on and go on. Yes, which is pretty cool, but it's kind of it takes you a bit aback when you when you don't have if you haven't understood the rules completely when you play the first chapter. Yeah. 
So really not a lot to say to that. We player count is like if you know us or if you know me, uh, I don't know about you, but I would never play this in one and two. I really like it with two because mm -hmm. it, it's a little impossible to say how long a game of this will take. Yeah. And it's really relaxing just being the two of us mm -hmm. because then we're just like, oh, we're in the mood to stop. <laughs> so we'll stop now mm -hmm. and we can just keep it on the table and play a little the next time we are in the mood for it yeah. because you kind of need to be in the mood uh, sometimes to play this game yes uh, we're going to talk about that yeah, yeah. Uh, me, and, me and that's, that is why I think it's a, I think it, it would be great solo but it's so cool to experience this story with someone yeah yeah um, so yeah, two two players is what we played it with, and, and I'm really happy with that. But I'm sure like this is a perfect solo game as well. Like if you if you enjoy these kind of games, you will like this as a solo game basically. Yeah. So the gameplay is what is like the, the biggest part. I like all every every review like we do all this build up, and then we come to the gameplay, which gameplay. is the uh, the the big thing. I have a lot of positives and I have a lot of negatives. So uh, yeah. uh, do you want to start somewhere? Yeah, I I really like this. I think I prefer this over. Uh, Seven Continents. Mm -hmm. I, I need to compare those two in some way. I think it feels really like a video game in the same way mm -hmm. that Seven Continent does and I really like that. I really like the exploration. Mm -hmm. When I come to a new place, I really like the Exploration, exploration journal. journal, yeah, that tells me what is here, what is the, where am I, mm. and this is the opportunities that I have. This is are the choices that I can make. Yeah, and some of them you can't always make. No, nope. you have to, you need to have something, uh, or sometimes you make a bad decision, and sometimes you need to do something like uh, related to the main quest. Yeah, and I really like trying to figure out what to spend your time and mm -hmm. energy on because you have to move fast to light up these menus yes. and also falling down this rabbit hole of <laughs> nonsense that just makes you like be out of food before you know it. And it will happen. Yeah, it will happen. This is a harsh game and I, I think it's cool that you really need to fight to mm. survive. Yeah. Uh, it's been so close to um, the end for us oh, yeah. a lot of times. But we like and insanity. managed to pull through. Uh, I just really like the exploration here, mm -hmm. uh, the story unraveling, and seeing more of this wicked land. Um, yeah, I'm really curious for the end, but we we can't wait for that. <laughs> we have to review this now. Yeah, or else it would be like a really because it's a long game See, and we, in we two we, years. We don't. Uh, so yeah, I agree with a lot of what you're saying. Like. This is more of a narrative game than Seven Continent is. Seven Continent is much more an exploration survival yes. game. This isn't as much of an exploration game, like it's a really slow burning exploration. Yeah, it is. You're not gonna, in Seven Continent, you might be going over five, six, seven, ten cars in an hour. You're not gonna do that here. Like, this is a really slow burning exploration game. You are going to a place, you may stay there a couple of days, maybe go to one other car. Uh, but the, the narration back. here is. Is, is what pulls me through, like it's what makes, I like the, the story here, I like all of the different things, most of it is a negative, like this is a brutal game, like most mm. of what you're gonna do, like, oh you did that, no you die, <laughs> yay, and that is really how the game feels, so if you're not into dying, and if you're not into really brutal games, then you, this is not a game for yes. you, because this is like, you can draw a encounter, and it can be like, oh that's basically death, mm, if yeah. you try to fight it, it it's gonna be death, so, uh, so like, Overall, this is a, it's a very, very cool system. I like the, mm. the, 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 the narration, I like the, it's like pretty simple doing the actions, moving around, taking actions, that is pretty simple. And then you have the combat and, and the, the, the diplomacy, diplomacy yeah. mini games. Those are interesting. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the beginning, I didn't really like them. I, I didn't, didn't like it at all. I didn't see like why <laughs> they would add a system that was so complicated that didn't reward me enough. Mm -hmm. So I didn't find it exciting. But when I played a couple of combats and just like started to get the hang of it, mm -hmm. then I'm just like, oh yeah, okay, this can actually be something that I can work with. Yeah. And when you get new items, new weapons that can benefit you, mm -hmm. and when you can uh, earn XP the, to get new cards into your diplomacy or combat deck, you can actually start to 
kind of anticipate what kind of moves you can make yeah. and when to back out of a fight and when to stay. Mm -hmm. And I think I enjoyed a lot more now than I did it in the beginning. But yeah, it's not my favorite system of all time. Uh, it feels, feels like a hassle sometimes. But what do you think? Yeah, I think like it's uh, I, I didn't like it at all the first time we played it. Like to say that the first chapter we played this or the first like session we played, I was really underwhelmed. Yeah. Like of the whole experience, I enjoyed the story parts, but the gameplay was kind of meh. Mm. I didn't like the the combat thing at all, and the diplomacy at all. Uh, but I feel like when you learn it, it's pretty simple. Like it's a it's a combo card playing thing basically, and you're yeah. trying to build a deck. Like when you uh, get experience, you can buy new cards for the deck, and you can slim it down, take out cards you don't like, and build up combos that works with your character. Because you can make the character. Uh, this is a really nice character sheet. We didn't talk about these basically in the components, but they're really nice recessed character sheets. Yeah. And you will get better in different uh, attributes, and some of them are for combat, some of them are for diplomacy and you will be able to, to make your deck and be, get new special abilities. So you have that progression, which is also what I really like about these kind of games, is you get that progression and, uh, and evolving of the character. But the, the card combat and the diplomacy is really nice. I enjoy it, as you said, not my favorite, mm. but it is, it, is, it is good. Yeah, I think, like, as you said, this is a slow burning yeah. game, and I feel like I, I really enjoy that, but it's kind of brave to put out a game like this in times where uh, the consumers need things now, and the video games are like, you level up, bam, 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 shoo <laughs> and this feels like the the opposite. Yeah. Leveling up and making your character better takes so much time and effort. Mm -hmm. It goes so slow. If you feel like, oh, I'm going to in a while be awesome. No, you're not. Uh, because the combats get harder. And, yeah. and when you have like a lot of food for a little moment, two rounds later, you have zero. So it's, it's just like this constant struggle. And I really yeah. think this is cool, but I feel like that could be a, a what do you call it a stop for someone yeah it's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be like it's a big it, it, it's not for everyone like that yeah. is yeah it's gonna be a big obstacle it's really not for everyone there is like kind of a a, a story mode in the game yeah uh where you basically pretend that you're one less person playing because a lot of the things you do in the game are harder for more people yeah so uh so basically you will then basically then do half of that all yeah, the time, okay, uh, yeah. which might be the way I would like to play the game if mm. we were going to pop, so continue playing it because the story here is, as always, what pulls me through. So let's talk about some things I don't like. I feel like I had some thoughts in my head and then we ended up not going in that direction. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about, so yeah. There is. We could do this for hours, I think. Yeah. So let's talk about a couple of things. I More things I like first and then let's talk about the things we don't like at the end. Okay, what do you like? So another thing I like really a lot, like uh, these are pretty cool. This is just like a map you get that's not really to talk about. Let's and also the away. backstory of your character. Yeah, so that this is, cool. is the thing I really, really enjoy. Here you have the save sheet, I don't know if you can see it. Here you have the save sheet, but on the other side of this, you have something called status. Stat Statuses. Statuses. Yeah, Statuses. Yeah, status. Yeah. Statuses. So Statuses. basically, I don't know if you see it, so I'm not going to show it more. This is probably just going to look like this a white paper. This is a blank paper. paper. But basically, it has all of these different things, and this is the way the game remembers, mm. which is important in these kind of games. You, it, that you cannot go to the same place like, you know, oh, if I go here, I would get 10 experience points. And so <laughs> I go there all the time. So the game remembers what you have done in its really nice way. And then when you come to somewhere, you will see like, if you have, um, if you have diplomatic mission four, not a spoiler, just a reading from the back. If you have diplomatic mission four, go here basically. Mm -hmm. And it will know that you, because you have that, you got that from a specific place. It knows that you have basically, maybe you talk to some person and know you can say something you learned from him to him. Mm -hmm. And that is a really neat way of doing it. And mm -hmm. I really love that because it makes it feel like a living world. You, you do something and the world change. You do something else, the world change in a different way. Yes. And that is a really, really cool. Yeah, I agree. 
that is awesome. I also like the exploration journal yeah. and there's some pages where you when you do certain things you go to a, a section that is supposed to be secret. The book of secrets. And then you have to it doesn't it isn't placed at the location that you're in. You have uh -huh. to go to a different page. Yes. So I really like that that is secluded so you don't like read something really game changing just like on an accident. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. So there's a lot of positive things that we have talked about now. So let's talk a bit about the negatives or like the, the, the I don't know if you have any negatives, but, uh, but yeah. uh, let's, let me talk about some negatives. Yeah, let's uh, go. Many of these negatives are because I am me. Like mo everything in the games is because of that. But this is a co-op game. This is a game that I need to be in a very specific mood to play. And when I get into it, I do enjoy it, but it's very hard for me to want to play it more. Mm. And I think there's a different couple of reasons for that. I think if we go back and play the story mode, I think I would enjoy it more because that's the, mo the thing I enjoy most is mm. to explore the story and see where that goes because the story is very cool. Mm. And I, I like how the story progresses. I like what's happening, but the game is brutal. Mm. And like in co-op games, I have the tendency to kind of give up. You know, when like when you feel like you're like in, in Gloomhaven and all these games, like you feel like, oh, this is going to be impossible. Oh, and I kind of give up inside myself and it's going to, and it's really hard for me to get back into it. And this game feels like a constant struggle of that hmm. because you're almost always dead. You're almost always out of food. You don't know where to get any more food. You need five wealth. How many do I have? Zero. Where can I get more? I don't know. Uh, in two rounds, the manor is going to go out and then... We just die. We don't die, but we die in complete darkness, and we just take two damage and two terror every single round. So it's really at least. And you're basically dead. And yeah. you have to always think about when you want to lit the next menu. You need to because they go down. Like maybe you lit a new menu. You worked so hard to light it. I'm not going to talk about specifically how that works, but maybe you didn't have that menu for five rounds. And that's not a lot in this game because in a game you in a day I may be able to walk over somewhere, do an encounter, talk to somebody, and I'm done. Mm -hmm. And maybe I got the food or two if I'm lucky. And maybe so you lost half of your life. Out. Yeah, and maybe I just somebody just hated me and I just died. It's really and and, and that's, a lot of that comes down to it's it, because it's it's an encounter based game because there's like a drawing cards because you don't know what's gonna happen. It's a very random game. Mm -hmm. You can, when you see the encounters, you can think like, oh, maybe it's good to go there. But sometimes it's like, oh, that makes sense to go there. And you're like, you get five terror. What? Yeah. So it is a very random game. It's a game that you, it's one of those, like, it's a shooter on adventure game because you, you just go somewhere and you say like, okay, let's see what happens if I do this. And uh, maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. But the problem for me then is that because it's so much bad and it's so hard to get what you've done, it feels like a game is just like, kicking you down, punching you in the face every single time you do something. Like if you, there's nowhere you go, like you get five wealth. It's like you get one after going through 16 pages of text, trying not to die and rolling dice, hopefully get more than one. Yes. So there is a lot of randomness and that might be, or that is a lot of things I don't like because it's, it's very random and then it's very brutal, which are mm. two things that together makes it kind of hard for me to love. Mm. So I think because I love the story, I love the setting, I love the story, and we are getting two more campaigns in the mail, like with stretch goal campaigns for this game. I want to play it because it's a very beautiful, very well produced, very good game. But all of that, the randomness added with the fact that it's so brutal, it's so hard to get what you want, makes it less appealing to me. Yeah, I think that is a perfect explanation of the game. Um, th this is what you get, not Johannes, but his way of describing <laughs> the game. Yes. Uh, you have to be prepared for this game knocking you down after countless times of mm -hmm. trying and also uh, going to hunt for some food and then you meet a guardian that stays on your map and haunts you forever. Um, it's got some randomness and it's really brutal. And what I think would really... We haven't died yet, but I figure we would die soon. Yes. And I, when you die, you can stop playing and start anew, but I would not do no, that. No, no, no. In no. a game like this, I'm here for the story. I think the gameplay in itself, it, it works. It's good. Yeah. It's just really brutal. And I, I, I want to play the nice version of this game. Yeah. And I think that is 
that is a legit choice. Yes. If you want to do this hardcore, yeah, you you're, a super, a hard you're a super human, I don't know how mm -hmm. you do it, but I think in this game it's totally cool if you just want to do an easy mode and yeah. just experience it for the cool story and the really cool universe that this is set in. Um, so that is why I think I agree, yeah. but when the game is made with an op like opportunity to mm. play it the nice way, yeah. then it knows that it's so hard. It yeah, knows yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's, it's prob problems and then I kind of forgive it because I, I know me, I want to play in the nice version uh -huh. and get to the story, let's go. Yeah. I, th I think like I, I think like this might be on the edge of being too brutal because yeah. it's kind of a, it's a game where you die you die you do have like a, a something called all mother's mercy you can like take that I, I haven't read what it does because we haven't died but it basically probably makes you survive and you will continue but it also says in the rule that that's not the point so if you continue to die that's not the point of the game so you would probably need to start over and do something else uh, I would probably house rule this in this game, I would probably, if I were playing this solo uh -huh. and I was dying like um, again and again, mm -hmm. okay, maybe in the beginning, if I died, then I would start anew. But if yeah. that continued to happen, yeah. and it, that could be totally random if you die or not die in this game. Yeah, it's if you're like it's, lucky or unlucky. But it is risk management, so it doesn't, I, I, I don't yeah. agree with that because it doesn't feel like it this hasn't been because we haven't died yet and we have yeah, been on the road. Actually. So it is a lot of risk management. Yeah, but it could be random. Yeah, it, it could be random. But like if you go, I, I have no life left and you go and you, I'm going to fight this big monster, then you will probably die. Yeah, but you, but you, then, you, then you need to not move, sit still in the boat and yeah. don't like. Yeah. So I, I don't agree with that completely, but I understand what you mean. Yeah, uh, but I, 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 but I would like, probably then just like forget that I died. Uh -huh. I want to experience this. Um, cool story, uh -huh. yeah. Mm, let's try again mm -hmm. and decrease the difficulty level, yeah. something. But there yeah. is so like there is there is rules for it when you die, so there is okay, probably yeah. a way for you to survive. I think I'm gonna go as far. I, I know this is gonna be a completely different game, but I'm gonna go as far as I think I would have enjoyed this better if you just did this. Oh yeah. Took away the menus. Oh yeah, not too. Have and you could mm -hmm. just explore and. And, and do the story and don't have to always get new resources, always get things that will make this appear on the board again. I know that won't happen and it won't work because like a lot of the games is, uh, is surrounded around this. Mm. But I think that for me personally, I think I would have enjoyed it more if it wasn't. And this is a lot of the brutality of the game basically. Mm. So, but I think it will help a lot to do the story mode where basically you play as you are one person when we are yes. two. And it would help a lot with this as well. But these are a very cool thing, but they add so much of the upkeep, so much of the stuff to the game that isn't for me the fun part. Mm. But but it's so strange because I have enjoy I en I kind of enjoy it and I kind of not enjoy yeah. it. If you know what I mean, like yeah, I, I, agree. I enjoy the oh no we need to 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 race to that to get that. But the problem is that when we need to do all of that, it's also hard to do the other things that you also need to do, which is the the, 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 the point of the game because the game would have been super simple without this it would have been like if it, like it would have been a completely different game and the mm. the, the the excitement like the the race feeling like there's a lot of feelings around this as well so i'm kind of conflicted of how much i like the game but i i, I think i would like to play it again with it or continue playing it Ooh. with this story mode so i think we have been through most of it is there anything you want to add for gameplay because yeah, no I, for me i'm just starting to say the same thing yeah again again. yeah i just agree with you uh the, the things that i like about it the brutality and the story is also what kind of yeah you need to be in the right mood yeah and uh, to really enjoy this game and i really want to play more of it but i can see that being difficult with more games coming yes. and not being in the mood and, and with me Losing and yeah, um, <laughs> but I'm excited for the new scenario. So yeah, uh, I think we've talked a lot about this. Uh, this is gonna be a long review, but it's a lot, lot of stuff to say about this game, basically. Yeah, it, it's really good, but at the same time, you yeah, it's not fun to be like kicked in the mud like seven times in a row. If that's not what you like, if you enjoy playing Dark Souls, you enjoy playing those kind of like games. Where I played Dark Souls on PlayStation Three. I died in five minutes. Yeah. So yeah. So should we go to final thoughts? Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> do you want to start? I think we've already. Yeah, we have been gone through here. most of it. Absolutely. Um, I, I, I just um, 
it this was in my top 50 mm -hmm. so i obviously like it mm -hmm. and i ob obviously want to play it again and play it more yeah i i i i want to recommend it but <sighs> i also want to warn you yeah <laughs> Do you do you kind of you feel what I? You need to know what you're going into, basically. Yeah, I I don't think I did know, but this is I really love video games with, and this feels like a video game. Yeah. I could play this solo. Uh, I think I would probably do that if I couldn't play it with you. Yeah. And uh, I, I think it's hard to rate this game. Huh? I think it's really hard, but I really like it. But you have to rate it. Yeah, uh, I do. I, I just, for me personally. Are you gonna do, are you gonna do a rub uh, a rub thing? What is that? A split rating. Split rating. Yeah, Rob does that from 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 Blue Peg Pink Peg. Go listen to them if you don't already. A great podcast, the best podcast. Uh, he does a split rating sometimes. Okay. Where it's like the kind of kind of like his take on the game and also the like objective oh, like, yeah, kind okay. of game. Oh yeah. Uh, you can do that. It's okay. For me. This is an 8. Uh -huh. I really like this day game. This is super cool. I'm not going to do a split rate thing. This is my opinion of it. <laughs> I like uh, that I have to work mm -hmm. for the positive things. Mm -hmm. The few there is in this game. And I think it's really... I, ju I just love so many things about this mm -hmm. game. The originality in the mechanisms on the many mm -hmm. In the universe and also in the exploration i it's so many things i love um so it's gonna be an eight but we've talked about all the things that i have a little problem with but i also love it's hard to talk about this game yeah so i'm gonna give it a four. Oh really no, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that is like the lowest i've ever heard of you no i think i'm gonna give it like a i'm gonna give it a seven yeah like it was kind of um, I, B b like balancing between a 6.5 and a 7. Mm. But I think a 7 is, is good for me for now because I think the game is very good. I think like if you like this kind of game, it's not my genre of games usually. Yeah. It's a nar narrative thing, it's my thing, but the other things, the crushing co-op games, because co-op games are supposed to be crushing. And this is super crushing. This is hard on a hard level for us. This least. is crushing it. Yeah. This is crushing it, yeah. Oh. So uh, I'm gonna give it a 7 for all the reasons we already talked about, not gonna rehash those. And um, yeah, that's the end of the review. Yeah, if there's something that we've missed or you miss us talking about, mm -hmm. please write in the comments and we can respond to them there. Yeah. Uh, because there's probably some things when we're rambling in our head that we forget to talk about. Probably. And if you have some questions, just let us know. And that's the end of the video. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Senwa. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye-bye.